Our own Dave Anderson, or Super Dave, as he's called by those who know him well, is the Northland's longest serving broadcast meteorologist. For 36 years, he's delivered weather forecasts and news stories with a style, flair, and personality that is uniquely Dave. His longtime service to the Northland now has him receiving a prestigious honor. This weekend, Dave is going to be recognized at the Upper Midwest Emmy Awards Ceremony as he joins the Emmy Silver Circle. So tonight, we wanted to take a look back at his amazing career and the non-traditional path he took. Current temperatures in Minnesota run 55 to 63, northern Wisconsin. Like many who go into television, Dave Anderson's fascination with the industry started at a young age. And as a kid, you know, my family was a news watching family. We loved TV. I was a small child in the 60s. And then my father got a Super 8 video or, you know, movie camera, and he let me use that when I was young for home projects. But unlike many who go into television, his first newsroom job had nothing to do with the news. When I first met Dave, Dave was the janitor. I, I was usually here late because I was the anchor of the 10 then, and, and he'd uh, come in and he'd grab my wastebasket and then he'd sit on the chair next to mine and just start chatting. KDLH-TV Duluth. During his junior year at UMD, Dave decided a job as KDLH Channel 3's janitor was the perfect way to get a foot in the door and see if news was right for him. It was. And I proudly applied to Channel 3 to move up from janitor to the floor crew, which resulted in a resounding yawn and a whole bunch of indifference. He didn't let that stop him. Dave kept the janitor job while simultaneously joining Channel 6's floor crew part-time. So I would put on the news at KBJR and then go at 1030 and clean KDLH Channel 3's building. Before long, he was a full-time member of the news team and a part-time musician. I mean, he was a character from the beginning. And he was playing in his band, The Pirates, and uh, he was just out of school and very enthusiastic. While the band never hit it big, then KBJR news director David Gent saw Dave's potential in another line of work. He came to me and said, I would like to be the weatherman. Now, News 6 Nightside. And then Dave Gentsch in the early 90s got this Absolutely kick that all time. meteorologists should be meteorologists, that the weather should not be just an untrained weather caster babbling for three minutes without falling down. They needed to have a degree. Congratulations to you. Uh, last week you became a meteorologist officially. So back to school Dave Anderson went, earning his meteorology degree and the respect of his peers. And I'll bet it's 73 degrees in Ironwood as well. You could tell he had a fire for weather. Showed me at that time that he was serious about meteorology. I began to realize there was more to Dave Anderson than just the Pirates garage band. I've been working that morning show the last couple of weeks. I can sleep through anything. From the early 90s on, Super Dave became a fixture of weekend news shows, stamping each forecast with his unique delivery. Earlier this evening, we got a couple of Thunder Boomers out of it as well. I think he does well with his delivery because he's from this area. And so he he talks like we talk. They're probably going to handle this pretty well. If it's just that down-home feel that you get, like you're watching your, your dad or your brother, or maybe for some even your grandfather on TV. But really not too bad. And well, on days he wasn't doing weather, Dave began Dave. using that hometown kid charm as a reporter. Why are we so cold right now? Well, for the answer to that question... He slid right into that job perfectly as he did into his weather on air. He has this disarming style when he meets up with people. He can get them to talk about their lives. They see him as a friend and a neighbor. World War II Medal of Honor recipient Mike Colalilo was not a born soldier as a youngster. I think the neatest part of the reporting aspect of this career is meeting the people. The war veterans like Medal of Honor recipient Mike Colalilo, uh, Tuskegee Airman Joe Gomer, Pearl Harbor survivor Arlie Burke, I got to meet these heroes who were part of a pivotal part of American history and survived and were around to become my friend and tell me their stories. That is worth about 5,000 silver circles. 
For three decades, Dave's told stories of the past. There's history waiting to be known. And kept us warm with his sense of humor. Even for this Ely native, it's downright cold out here. But he's just as proud of his work away from the TV station, teaching the next generation, serving as an adjunct instructor at Lake Superior College in Northland College, and spending more than 20 years as a U.S. Coast Guard auxiliarist, all while keeping up with his longtime hobbies. Cut my own firewood, fix my own cars, rebuild old snowmobiles, get antique lawnmowers running with my son. So you've got to remember your place and you've got to stay in it and just be as kind as you can. Well, here we go again. Another round of decent rains coming. He's still the same Super Dave Anderson, the same guy that uh, emptied the bins and sat down to chat. He'll talk to anybody and everybody, and, and he's, he's never put himself above anybody. We could go towards the mid-70s. A TV personality set to get the recognition he's earned through hard work, persistence, and staying true to himself. Convective lifting energy to help. Mm -hmm. Do not give up the first time a manager or a boss tells you, you're no good. You don't do that very well. Show them. Keep practicing and do it better. It worked for me. Sunny and warmer come Monday, Paul. Very good, Dave. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend. Dave and I have a tradition on Friday nights. He finds me wherever I am in the building, and we'll exchange notes on what beer we plan to drink over the weekend. And if you pass Dave in the hallway and ask him how he's doing, you'll most likely hear him respond, quote, fat and sassy.